What's going on everybody, Kenny Dubs here with a, another Mega Man X Dive character overview video. Today we're going to be taking a look at 4th Armor X as he comes out soon in the global version. So, let's get started. So, here we are taking a look at 4th Armor X in the character screen here. And this is actually a fun fact, this is probably one of the more iconic armors for me, anyway personally. As X4, I think, was my first major point in the X series. And... But not to get too far into that. So first up, we have Stock Charge Shot. Shooting energy around to inflict about 20 damage, 20% attack damage to the target can be charged to unleash a more powerful round. At full charge, it cast four charge shots. Uh, it cast charge shots four in total that deal six times the amount of damage. So just like in X4, when you charge this up, you have the option of stocking four charge shots and then shooting them kind of at your leisure which is pretty cool there. So first up for the modifier chips, we have mobility, reduce prep time by 20%, which is always great. Accelerate charge, the time required to reach maximum charge reduced by 25%. Again, really great there. And finally, we have all out barrage. And I like the name of this one. Uh, when maximum charge is reached, four energy rounds can be released at once. So basically you charge up your energy, uh, you hit full charge, and then instead of re releasing them one by one, you can just like boom, 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 just release them all at once, which is pretty cool. This is likely what you're going to be using in a PvP setting and maybe for PvE as well. Um, you can really, I think you can get away with any of these, to be quite honest, in either game mode. I think this is the best though, because this allows you to uh, essentially just burst damage down the opposition. And with something later on, you'll see why uh, I like this a lot more. Next up, we have the Nova Strike. Consume all armor energy rushing forward and dealing about 400% attack damage. Rush to our damage to all targets in this path without taking damage during use. Armor energy is obtained as as time passes and one attack. So here we have built-in, built-in showtime. Sorry about that. I forgot for a moment what it was called, which is very, very nice there. And for the modified chips here, we have energy con uh, energy conservation, reduce armor energy consumption by 20%, which is pretty nice. Armor improvement, increase the natural recovery speed of armor energy by 40%, which isn't bad. And then we have power increase, increase damage multiply by 20%, but the natural recovery rate of armor energy is reduced by 50%. This is probably what you're going to be using in PvP. Um, I think all these are good, to be quite honest. Uh, maybe, maybe you, like this one might seem more appealing. But uh, this one at first doesn't seem all that great. But once we get into the passives later, uh, this one actually seems a lot better uh, due to that. So next up, let's take a look at the passive skills. First up, we have Destroy Armor. When hitting a target with maximum charge, the attack will apply Defense Weakened state to the target or as i like to call it defense crush and increase damage taken by seven and a half percent stacked up to four times so stacked up to four times as you can see then with a maximum charge so if you unleash all four of your charge shots at once you get this fully stacked up and you can just amplify damage like that so that's very very nice there that's one of the reasons why i like i like the you know the i forgot what it's called uh what's it called all out barrage there pretty nice armor protection reduce damage taken by 10 percent always nice to have 10 percent a little bit on the lower side but we have more mitigation coming along in his kit as well next up we have energy absorb when you hit a target with maximum charge increase armor energy now for those of you that are familiar with second armor x you know that this is actually game changing for a unit that gains armor energy to have a yeah, second armor x that's part of his dna but with that that allows him to essentially spam giga crush as long as you're connecting your shots onto some kind of target whether it be the mob and pvp or the opposition you can just kind of just launch off giga attacks back to back which is really really nice on on second armor x so this is great to use here and then because of this that makes this right here a lot less detrimental for the negative side effect of this because your natural armor energy is reduced uh energy reduced rate energy recovery rate is reduced by 50 percent but you'll be building it up over time with your energy absorb and because you have access to your um, your all out barrage on top of your destroyer armor, you're going to be racking it up pretty quickly. The destroyer armor actually doesn't really do anything in terms of energy absorption, but with the all out barrage, you're going to gain it a lot faster because you have you'll be shooting all your shots at once, essentially. Next up, we have Bust of Mastery. I like this. Uh, just inherent weapon mastery, which is good damage amplification as long as you're using a buster, which is fantastic there. And then finally, we have Armor Enhanced, and I kind of like this passive quite a bit. When Armor Energy is 50% or more, reduced damage taken by 20%. So inherently, you have up to 30% damage reduction, and we already know how good that is. Characters like Zero and Nightmare in the global version, or Dark Mega Man EXE have that inherently just for existing. It's a little bit different on 4th on Armor X because you have to, you have, to have over 50% Armor Energy, 
but keeping armor energy above three percent shouldn't be too too hard to do as you recover it naturally over time and with energy absorber as well so it shouldn't be that big of a deal to keep it up as long as like again as long as you're hitting something relevant with it whether it be targets and pvp targets and pve um or i say targets i meant mobs or you know the other player in pvp uh you know just as long as you're hitting something that damage register and then on top of that, increase the duration of invulnerability when performing Nova Strike and suffer no negative status effects during the invulnerability. So now we have access to, with this, we have access to one longer iframe duration, which is fantastic. And how about we have true showtime? I don't think I've really done over true showtime before, but it says you suffer no negative side effects during the invulnerability here. And during this, uh, you... Um, Without taking damage during its use so basically what that means is you won't be able, things that ignore preventive shield they don't really matter to you because during your nova strike you won't be able to be statused or damaged anyway that's essentially and that's what true showtime refers to I should probably make a separate video going over that but you know that's just something that i figured i would mention here as well since it applies to the kit of this character now we're going to go over the dna again as usual simply because just want you guys to know what's what's in store for fourth arm x i don't think he'll be releasing with his dna but again just so you guys know what's in store for him first off complete penetration i think this is amazing charge shot can now go through landscapes and barriers that is fantastic for fourth armor x because you have a lot of burst damage as it is in fourth armor x and one of his biggest weaknesses is that he can't pierce terrain but with this he can pierce terrain but your charge shots go through terrain which is fantastic and barriers so it doesn't really matter where the opposition is. As long as you can kind of get a lock on them, you'll be fine with that. So that's pretty good. Next up, we have Nova Shield. When using Nova Strike, you gain a shield that can withstand 105% attack damage. That's actually a pretty strong shield there. And then increase the effective enemy control by 50%. So now when you hit a target with your fully charged shot, you're going to be gaining energy at a much faster rate because this, is, this increases by 50%. So again... The, that one chip, the modifier chip that says um, the the third one that reduces your natural recovery rate by 50%, again, that like that's really offset by the rest of his kit. So that one is a lot less detrimental than it seems for the negative side effect. And then this one here, I spoke about this in my character preview, the action shark can penetrate one extra target and the damage after penetration was 25%. I'm like, eh, sure, I guess that's okay. This is more for PV pve than for pvp so i like i'm just like mm, that's okay and then the range increased by 40 percent this part i really really like the first part eh because i don't really care all that much about the pv uh pve side of things in terms of defeating enemies all that much though the penetration can be helpful during that it's just not that great in pvp where um if it if it doesn't ricochet or anything the penetration doesn't really do all that much uh, you can do might be able to do some cheeky things though possibly with it it might be able to sneak in some damage as you might have hit like a summoned enemy or something like that or just penetrate through the one of the mobs that is there so you might get in some cheeky damage like that other than that i don't think the actual penetration damage is is that worthwhile but the range is pretty nice and then after that we'll let's take a look at the recombined dna the unique dna here pressure operation while causing defense weakening or hitting a target defense has been we can restore hp equals 4 percent of the attack this effect can only be triggered once again after, after every six seconds again this is actually really really good here i think this is fantastic for raids and fourth armor is going to be used pretty effectively in raids due to this he has a lot of longevity a lot a lot, a lot of longevity yeah uh, he also has healing and shields so aside alongside this that's really good and then on top of that you can use this to connect with say rathos armor x who inflicts defense crush pretty easily as well so then with with rathos armor x maybe you don't use the monster on the sword maybe you use something else to help him stay a little alive or rather you go a bit more offensive like maybe use nightmare or something like that uh, the monster sword is still very good, but this is just an option you can do on fourth armor X, or rather on Rathalos armor X, or whoever you're going to be using for your raid unit that can inflict defense crush. Though the units that I know that can make use of this typically already have this in their kit, at least the ones that are released in global. Outside of that, you've got some mid range boost, marine adaptability, boss killer. And if you're going to use him for raid, sure, you go with that. Boss adaptability is very, very nice. Boss amplification is also nice. Just for assisting with the buster. And then more stuff like that uh over here uh, interference resistance blind resistance continuous damage resistance uh interference resistance isn't that bad 
because of things like Zero Nightmare that inflict that have to inflict their interference in order to remove your buffs. But the only real inherent buff you have on Fourth Armor X is the as the shield uh, attached to his DNA. And if it doesn't come with his DNA, this doesn't really do that much for him inherently. Outside of that, uh, we have defense reduction special attack three. When you hit a target defense crush, that's an implied damage by 8%. That's pretty nice as well. Mm, outside of that, there's not really too much else here. You can just use this as a good as a good way to build like maybe a raid unit though. As with pressure operation, defense crush special attack, boss killer, Fourth Armor X has some pretty good uh, DNA to inherent to someone for raiding as well, which is very, very nice. And before we move on, Fourth Armor X actually has a card. I don't know when this is going to drop in global. Taiwan got it pretty, pretty late after his release, but I'm going to go over it anyway, just so that you guys are aware of it. And this one is actually pretty nice as well. Reduce damage taken by 20% when equipping a buster. Put one more copy of a card. Um, you know, you can only have one copy of this activated, basically, which wouldn't really do that much for you. And, and if you want the second effect, uh, second effect, uh, crit damage, enhances the attack, hit target, and crit enhancement stat, decrease damage to 8%. That's not why you're using this card. You're using a card for arm liberation. And arm liberation is very good on 4th Armor X because this bumps up his inherent mitigation, as long as you have a buster equipped, at least, from 30% at max to 50% at max. So if you have this card, you inherently have 30% damage mitigation just, you know, all the time for existing with the buster. Um, and then the other 20% will come from this when you're at 50% armor energy or higher. So you can make use of that. You can't probably can't really make this a, well, maybe you could try to cheese your way into a bulkier build for fourth armor X with the, cause he has inherent mitigation. Only problem is the fluctuating 20% extra damage mitigation with that. So I don't think it'll work out as good for other, as other units, uh, in terms of mitigation, it just won't be as consistent because of that 20% though, as long as using a buster and have his card, you'll have access to this. But again, I don't know when this card is going to drop. So if you wanted to build him like that in global, that might be a bit difficult. But I think it could definitely be done. However, it will take a lot of investment because of the because building defensive characters like that takes a lot of investment. But that's it for the, the basic overview of Fourth Armor. So let's take a look at some weapons that might go well with him. All right, so we're taking a look at some weapons, and of course, because we're looking at a Buster unit, we're going to be looking at Busters first. Sniper Buster. Explosive Bolt are going to be my go-to recommendations for characters like Busters. Oh, I guess Destructive Laser as well. Problem is, I don't own it on this account, so it's all the way down here. But all these weapons are very, very good choices. Explosive Bolt being the best Buster choice, I believe, for especially for Sniper Busters. It just has the best range, has inherent player killer, and I say this all the time, but I like player killer over penetration because player killer is just more consistent. You can get, you can potentially get more damage from penetration, but the problem is getting a setup for penetration. So player killer, I think, is just a lot, a lot easier to get used out of because you literally just exist with this weapon active and player killer is active, as opposed to needing to get like, you know, getting the to get a few ricochets off of that. Uh, Sniper Buster, still pretty good as well, if you don't make use of the Explosive Bolt. Another bust that you can actually use, and I really, really like, is the Art Cracker. I really, really like the Art Cracker. There's not many characters I would really recommend using it on, uh, but this is an option for PvP as well, though I do think the Sniper Busters are better. However, the reason I recommend Art Cracker with 4th Armor X is because he is one of the users of Busters that inherently will get access to Defense Crush. And when you hit a target with defense crush, the Skullcracker shot will inflict immobilize. So that's something you can make use of as well. On top of that, just for firing this, you get enhanced enhanced damage status. So that can be pretty, pretty cheeky as well. So that is something that you can do with this. Again, however, though, I don't think this weapon is all that great for PvP. I think cyber buses are a lot better, but it is an option that you can use. Um, and I don't think this weapon has its hidden skill yet in global. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. But just so that you guys are aware, this also has access to destroy armor, which is pretty nice there. So it can actually be used on its own once it gets access to its hidden skills. But for the time being, it does not have its hidden skills. So you'd have to pair this with something that inherently has defense crush on it. Uh, Nightmare, as per usual, Nightmare is just a fantastic weapon to use if you want to go hybrid with Buster Melee. 
and nightmare just allows you to have your to get the attack boosts which is great nightmare also has the you can increase your crit while using it so you swing your nightmare around and get the boost and then because your charge shot can pierce terrain with the dna you know you can get some choice damage off like that i think ancient relics is also a decent option if you're going to go hybrid build as well just ancient relic is just a fantastic weapon for its utility and you can get either the speed rune oh i, I think you should go for the speed rune honestly if you're using it with the hybrid, hybrid build because you already have you already have a shield that's much stronger than this and the crit damage increase is great but you don't inherently have um a way to raise your crit percentage or your crit rate or your, your your crit rate in general you don't have a way to raise with for thermax so i think you just go speed ruin i think speed ruin is probably the best one out of these anyway for most situations but yeah that is another option turbo cannon is an option as well turbo cannon again is just a fantastic weapon it gives you additional iframes when you need them again though however well i say again because i say this every video if you're going to be using turbo cannon for its hidden skill with the iframes for overheat protection be wary of unlocking this skill right here as it increases your range but it also increases your energy by 10 percent and that sounds good on paper but when you think about how to get access to the iframes you get to the iframe by emptying your clip and increasing energy by 10 percent means you have a big clip size so it takes you longer to get to the empty clip effect and finally this weapon is not out in global but by the time fourth armor x is out this weapon will be out this is the decides well i've hinted at this weapon a lot and it's also the reason why i'm not recommending cannon god this time because the sides will is just basically a better version of cannon god right for those of you that are aware of what decides will is and what it does well you know why i'm recommending this for those of you that don't know i like i said a better version of cannon god um this can pierce terrain it also has additional firing lasers that pierce terrain and as a lock one status as well so the target will be marked and the lasers will deal more damage it also has you know it just has decent damage uh it does 50 percent of your attack per target but it also can penetrate all targets on this path and on top of that the weapon will still auto aim even even in a state of confusion or automatic aim is turned off in the settings so regardless of what you do besides will will auto aim and will target still regardless even through confusion right that's actually insane that you can't disable the auto aim for this weapon <laughs> right even with the status that's supposed to disable that so this weapon is great um not really much else to say about it i haven't gone over this weapon in detail though so uh that would be for another video possibly the same day that i upload the the event but I think that will be it for the weapon. So let's go ahead and take a look at some cards that will pair with 4th Armor X. All right, so kind of in general, you could go with your generic things to help out 4th Armor X. Now, the generic things, for those of you who might be new or just don't know what I mean by generic things, player killer, that's generic. Amplification for the weapon type you're using. Um, and cards that have things uh, associated with those are the Akuma card. It has access to a... A different variant of player killer this one's actually very very nice when your target's player increase damage yield by four percent and reduce damage take by four percent so you could actually use this and gain access to way of the fist because that's very very nice there and it will stack with player killer because it is not it does not have the same name and bison has the player killer card uh the player killer as well here alongside the the life aura card which you can get from the token shop Sigma X4 card, which you can also get from the token shop. The Violin card, which you can get uh, randomly from card packs. Wheel Gator, which you can make in the lab, although this only has Player Killer 1. And the Met card, which you can also get from the shop, but again, this only has Player Killer 1. However, since it is an A ranked card, it shouldn't be too difficult for most people to get, which is why I always suggest this for a Player Killer option. I know a bit earlier, some of you may have been worried that I skipped over the 4th Armor X card, but don't worry, I mentioned it earlier. I would not forget about it. Uh, this card is very very nice to have on a fourth armor x as well especially if you're using a buster however if you're not using a buster you probably don't want to use this though fourth armor x likes busters he inherently has a buster amplification so i think busters are fantastic on him in general so you want to focus on those though again even if you're going with a hybrid build i think this is still very useful to have as you'll have it active some of the time though if you're not if you're using a hyper build you just have to be a bit wary of when you engage and when you disengage because you won't have your 
your mitigation up or the amplification depending on the cards you have aside from that you can go with the stopping hundred with one if you're opting to go the the double buster route that is an option successfully completed is an option to use for if you're going buster melee hybrid and of course i could not forget to mention the if you're going buster melee option the best option is the elite hunter card as it not only stacks with itself it's fairly easy to get i say fairly easy because it does require a little bit of rng however you can get this card from your guild and like i mentioned it stacks with itself so you have a five star copy right here like this one and i get 10 percent damage amplification 10 percent damage mitigation and then if i put one that's less than five stars i get another eight percent damage and eight percent damage mitigation as well so that's just 18 percent for just kind of existing as it is the problem with that is you need a red card afterwards so Excess Memories does provide a decent option to combo with them as well as Buster Amp 3. Though again, you just have to kind of be wary that this is only going to be active when you have your Buster active. Though so the X and Zero card pairs very well with the with the Elite Hunters. That is a red card. It gives you more access to mitigation through Buster Adaptability and Adverse Amplification as well. Though you're probably mostly using this for Buster Adaptability and that it's a red card. If you're looking for a more budget double amplification for two, for a double buster, you can use the Bitter Struggle card, which can also be obtained from the guild. If you do want to opt to go the more bulkier defensive route with or with RMX, let's try to see how that goes. Again, I'm not too sure if you really want to do that, but Player Sentinel would be an option for things you want to have packed in there. Although you can get that with your inherited DNA instead, so you don't have to put that in the cards. Same with actually the double amplification, double mitigations for things like that as well. Okay, and you can also try to tech in maybe defense reduction special attack. I mentioned this in the DNA as well, but this is something you can put in on your cards. Tail sure was the only card I could really find as I was looking through my cards for a little while and I couldn't find anything else. But this is something I did want to mention here. Again, that's if you don't put it in your DNA. And then if you do, you just have to make sure that they aren't the same name. So if I put defense reduction special attack three in my dna and the four slot yeah, i could stack that with this defense reduction special attack one right here uh, as long as i don't have another defense special the reduction special attack one somewhere else on the fourth armor x or on the character i'm putting them on in general all right i think that will be it for fourth armor x i'm excited for this character i will be pulling on his banner but i won't be pulling directly for fourth armor x i will be pulling for the decides will as that is the big win on that banner for most players so some people will be pulling for fourth armor x but regardless of which one you're pulling for good luck to those of you pulling on the banner and then real quick before we end off this video i want to give a shout out to my patrons and my youtube subscribers and my youtube channel members for continuing to support me allow me to do what i do if you'd like to become a patron or become a youtube channel member you can find information on how to do that down below the video and i will catch you guys next time later Thank you.